Good afternoon, YouTube family. As you see, I still have a problem with my eye, but um, I have nothing to prove to anybody. The Lord has been talking to me for days. We have been spending all of our time together alone, and I've been writing down everything he tells me to write down everything everything and he made me come on here so please listen eschatology known as the end times revelations is the most well-known area of the scripture for believers when studying and prophecy then shall two be in the field, the other shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, and the one left. Matthew 24, 40, 41. Watch, he says. Watch, he says. Rumors of war now. Watch, he says. Division now. Watch on. Left behind tribulation for now. The Bible calls these last days and times of end, of the end times, the war on large Scale, Matthew 24, 7, Revelation 6, 4. Great earthquakes, Luke 21, 11. There has been earthquakes every day, on every hour, on every moment. Famine, Matthew 24, 7, Revelation 6, 5 through 5, 6. Pestilences of epidemics of terrible disease, Luke 21, 11. Increase of crime, Matthew 24, 12. Running of the earth by mankind, Revelation eleven eighteen. Deterioration of people's attitudes. It's hard for me to read with my eye, but he's making me. Unthankfulness, disloyal, not open to agreement, slanderers, no self-control, fierce without love or goodness, betrayers, headstrong, puffed up with pride, breakdown of family, homosexuality, transgenders, as natural affection, children disobedient to their parents, 2 Timothy 3.23, love of good growing cold in most people, not worthy, displays of religious hypocrisy, increased understanding of the Bible, prophecies, global Global preaching of the good name of the kingdom, widespread apathy, re ridicule toward each other, and end times. The last days began 1914. At the time, God's kingdom ex expelled ruling, ex expiled rule, ruling of heaven out of one of its first actions. I can barely see, but he's making me do this. He was to expel Satan, the devil, and demons from heaven and restrict their activity to earth. Revelation 12, 7 through 12. Satan's influence on mankind can be 
seen in many bad attitudes and actions that make the last days critical times hard to deal with. 2 Timothy 3.1 Breaking of the Seals the first stage in the great tribulation, a time of turmoil, a time of distress. Jesus is calling his bride home. The event is not the same as the second coming of D Jesus. Don't confuse the two, he tells me to tell you which takes place at the end of the Great Tribulation. The marriage of the Lamb takes place and the second coming of Christ before the millennium. Those that have shown patience, consistent in doing good, will rejoice, honor, and peace will be, be betrothed them. All who practice unrighteousness in any form and remain unrepented will, will earn God's wrath and righteous judgment regardless of who they are, regardless of their good works, regardless of their good background and religious background. Whose name is not written in the book of life will be cursed into the lake and cast into the lake of fire. Revelations 21, 8. I have literally not slept for days. My eye is swollen again. I've been crying tears of joy, tears of sorrow, not for myself for my brothers and sisters all over the world. There's so many selfish people, hateful people, loving of money, loving of green, greed, loving of oneself, not caring and lo not loving thy neighbor, not showing self-control, pushing their own agendas, showing greed, no mercy, just hate, vile acts of sexual immorality, hurting children, killing children, having sex just to have children and abort them, hurting and killing innocent animals. People of the world, the Lord has told me, we are in the end days. Not one knows the hour nor the day, but we are in the end days. They started in 1914. We are in the end days. He tells me to keep telling you that. He has kept me up for days. I am losing my voice. My eye is all swollen, but he keeps me going. I have not eaten in two days. I have lived just on water. I have delved in the word more than I have ever delved in the word. He has kept me up. He has spoken to me over and over and over. He has shown me who will go up and who will stay down. He has told me many things. He has shown me how cruel people are in my own walk in life. What, have, what people have done to me. He has shown me people's true colors. He has shown me such sorrow. He has shown me great, great tribulation on this earth. He has taken me to the earthquakes, to the tornadoes, to the storms, to the sky. He has shown me the ravaged ravage clouds of the ocean, the tsunamis to come. He has sh shown me and made me feel the pain and the suffering of the righteousness, of the widows, of the helpless, of the hungry. He has shown me so much pain and so much turmoil. 
he has exposed to me greed, darkness, envy, love of money, love of self. He has shown me all this, and I have taken it upon my little body. He speaks through me and tells me that it's time. He has shown me great, great tribulation, great hardships that people will feel. There will not be a second chance. Some will be taken up and most will be left behind. Narrow is the road to heaven. Wide is the gate to hell. You will not get there by your works. You will not get there because you go to church. Children are disobedient to their parents. Children are breaking their parents' hearts. Elder, elderly are being left alone, sexually abused, beaten and tormented. There are more homeless people in the streets than there are that people own homes and have mortgages. There are more hungry than there are people going out to eat in restaurants and having refrigerators filled with food. There are more animals being sacrificed, tortured, and eaten than those that are being loved and coddled. There are more children being sacrificed, tortured, eaten than those in warm cribs and warm beds and warm arms being kissed and loved. Lastly, he tells me to tell you, there is only a short time to repent. If you don't, God's wrath is upon you. All of us on this earth has had suffering and has had time to see what it means to feel hard times. Many are in grocery store lines. Many are on telephones. Many are in conversation across tables discussing their own suffering. But not one knows the suffering that you will endure being left behind. He that shall not repent and know Christ Jesus. I bid you goodbye.